Welcome to Flow of Miracles Month Energy Reading for April. And we are continuing the Cups team with the Prince of Cups. And it's lovely for those of us who like to be uh, connected to the emotional realm, who like to be really steeped in our intuition and in uh, the love and connection towards ourselves and others. And if you're not there and you would love to just have a more grounded month uh, with discs or some more passion and fire with wands, or maybe even more mentally uh, focused with the swords, I'm sorry to say that, yes, we are doing cups again. But with the Prince of Cups as a card card, that might mean that you are not the person in the emotional realm, but you'll meet somebody who will connect with you this month and who embodies the Prince of Cups personality. So that doesn't have to be a man, even though the Prince of Cups is a man, uh, but uh, strictly speaking, this personality, Prince of Cups, are people who are great to party with, who are very romantic, uh, who are willing and able to look at their emotions and working towards mastering them uh, by making sure that they take the emotional risks they want and not go into a path of selfishness or emotional manipulation, not to go down the path of ego or being naive. So having a Prince of Cups in your corner is really nice. They're not really the therapist type, that's more the queen, um, and they are still learning, uh, but they will uh, actually help you out on any type of creative endeavors, any kind of emotional connection. So if you're not a Cups person, keep your eye out to somebody who is and who will connect to you this month. So the do's this month are do romantic gestures, really a romance, even if you're single for yourself, being loving, being kind is really multiplied in energy this month. If you go and do that, you will see great results because the inner world is so open and it really helps to be able to receive love, romance, feeling cherished, and that is really um, what would work for most of us this month. Also, the do's are be sincere. It's sometimes really tough when we're struggling with emotions that we don't like, when we're being jealous or angry or frustrated. But the Prince of Cups knows that everything that he's holding in that cup, even though it looks a bit like a snake, is a worthwhile. So being sincere with others about what you're struggling with, what you're trying to do on the emotional plane will really help you move forward this month. And last but not least with the Jews, do be a warm emotional person. Even if you feel that you're more cold naturally, this is the month to actually train uh, being a bit warmer for those that you really love because words of affirmation, uh, actions that are loving, do really make a difference. And then for the don'ts. So don't be selfish. When we're in our emotional world, especially when we spend a lot of attention to what's going on there, uh, we tend to kind of cut off other people. Um, we shouldn't do that. Everybody is dealing with their own emotions every single day. And for most of us also during the night, whether that means we have nightmares or have trouble sleeping, so be sure that while you appreciate your own inner world, you also really acknowledge that everybody has their own. Don't go to the past of ego. It's very easy to feel more emotionally mature than other people. That is always a signal that we're not. Uh, while it's true that everybody has trouble with different emotions and that some people really struggle with a lot, uh, be mindful uh, to not go into this place of superiority because it doesn't work at all, not for us and not for the other person. And last but not least, don't be naive. While you might meet a lot of new people that are busy in their emotional world and busy being creative, it's very important that you understand that not everybody has your best interest in mind. 
So I wish you all a blessed month and I hope to see you in the practice or of course on the YouTube channel with your comments.